It's the I Can't Mom Today podcast with Heather, the new mom, and Vera, the <clears throat> seasoned mom. I Can't Mom Today. Hey, this is Vera and Heather back again with another episode of I Can't Mom Today podcast. Hi, Vera. Hey, Heather. How's it going? Well, you know, I thought once summer gets here, I'm going to be able to relax a little bit. <laughs> That didn't happen. I've already summer summer camp started today. I'm already behind. <sighs> We're on day one, hour one. <gasps> day one. Yeah, that's rough. Well, was Baker looking forward to going to summer camp? Yeah, he is. Um, I mean, at first he's like, oh, I don't want to go. I was like, but look at all these fun things you get to do. And he's like, oh, okay, now I'm excited. Um, <sighs> but it's still, it was, he woke up 15 minutes early, which I was like, great. Great, great, great. Uh, and the drop off is at 7 30, which is very similar to school. School is 7 30 to 7 50. And we most of the time made around 7 40. And this, so 6 15 wakes up. I'm like, go brush your teeth, get your clothes on, get downstairs, blah, blah, blah. We have to put sunscreen on. That's the only additional thing that we have to do. So we somehow didn't make it until like 7 58. Oh, oops. 15 minutes earlier. I'm like, how did this happen? I mean, part of it's like negotiating with him. Like he, well, he had to poop, you know, I mean, uh, you know, which I'm thankful for that he did it before. Well, yeah, that's <laughs> true. Cool. But then like, it's like, oh, we have to put something. I want to put, like, can I just please put sunscreen on? So you have a nice base. I know that you have a good base. I want to, I'm like, oh my God. So it's just yeah. yelling, you know, just yelling back and forth. Arr, 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 arr. And then he gets angry. Mine's... I'm like, stop. They have minds of their own. Those I know, boogers. but I'm just like, listen, just listen. Uh, listen to me, Linda. I swear. I like this morning was tough and I was just like, I may have cursed at him. I don't know. You know, those uh, things that uh, happen. Uh, uh. <sighs> He's like, I want to get up on the counter. I'm like, fine, get up on the counter. Mm. He puts his shoes on the counter. Oh God, Jerry still does that. It grosses me out. And then he'll put like, he'll make a peanut butter and jelly and just put the bread right on the counter. I'm like, Jerry, yeah, your shoes were right there. Exactly. And I was like, now I go, I'm like, now I have to clean the counter because you put your nasty ass shoes on the f- counter. <laughs> exactly. Well, that's and same thing. I mean, it annoys me. Well, you know, I got I finally said to him, I was like, don't put I, it amazes me how you don't use a plate when you're trying to make a sandwich. You just put it directly on the counter. He's like, why not? And I was like, Gross. well, a it makes the counter dirty. Yeah. And B, sometimes somebody Likes to put their shoes on the counter. Do you really want to put your bread where the <sighs> your, your where your, your ba- public bathroom shoes have gone? Yeah, exactly. No, <laughs> oh my god, no! And then he was like, "Oh!" So then he got himself a plate. Like, it just amazes me the things that it makes. Uh, I, I mean, like I sprayed it down as soon as because I was like, "You that." Ah. Nice and shirt, Jerry. Jerry thank you. And then I, a shack. Sorry. Yeah, he could probably. <laughs> I think most men can, honestly. On a bear mattress, sleep on a bear mattress and live in a yeah. shack. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> when I met Brad, he didn't have central AC in his apartment in Colorado, yeah. which is, it gets pretty, pretty warm here, honestly. Yeah. And he had one window unit in his living room. And I was like, how did you sleep before me? Yeah, exactly. Like, how did that happen? Because I brought like a giant window thing and i was like here we go for the bedroom <laughs> like, yeah Don't. exactly especially when you're sleeping uh-huh. like Ugh. i think Ugh. he probably slept on the couch a lot if i had to be if i had to guess yeah probably but anyways um so yeah how we are digress. you i guess and i was late because i was like oh i'm gonna go walk through and i checked my calendar but evidently it didn't sync to my phone calendar i don't know something so i get a text hey come in and i was yeah. like oh Yep, I sure am. Got to get on the Zoom call. I know. And so here we are. How well, are you? I was, I was great until somebody was late for our Zoom call. I know. I know. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. Yeah, it's everything's okay. pretty good. Yeah. Checking along. You know. Good. The usual. Excellent. Um, Love to hear it. So I just realized, though, that my shirt's on inside out. <laughs> I can I tell you. Uh, more often than I would anticipate, I put my underwear underwear on inside out. Oh, I've done that before too by accident. Yeah. I would say <laughs> once a month. <laughs> That's pretty funny. 
And well, sometimes I catch it like right one. after I get out of the shower. I'm like, okay, I'll just switch it real quick. But then like sometimes it's like half the day. I'm like, oh, oh, well, this is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's going to see it from me anyway. I know. So. How, how did I just realize this? <laughs> and so like, I mean, there is a right way and a wrong way, but it's not. Is it that? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's what I do. Cause I don't have, t- mine doesn't have tags. You know, they have just like the paint on. Yeah. The, the tag list. Fabric. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. So anyways, all right. So <laughs> I'm glad you're doing good. Yeah. Since so, yes. I am transitioning from school year to summer, and this is our I first know. time because before this, it was always daycare. So it was just the same all year long. Yeah. You didn't change. I mean, there was more activity. You know, there, it, they did do a curriculum during the year and summer's off, but I didn't, I didn't have to change anything. I could drop them off whenever. And so yeah, it's a little hard. So we're going to talk about some tips on that today yes. because it's not easy. And also there's always a, some, kind of, some sort of lag time between school year and summer, you know, summer camp starting. Like we got out of school on Thursday, but Baker had some stomach issues on Wednesday and Thursday, meaning like he was, there was a virus that went around. We didn't know what it was. Oh. Um, and there was a, uh, so he went to, so he came home on Wednesday, went to, we brought him to children's hospital, you know, the urgent care because he was, he said he couldn't stand up. I was like, this is not normal. Yeah. (laughs) So we brought him there. They were like, no, it's fine. He's just constipated. Not true. Cause the next day we brought him back to school and he's fine. Threw up. (laughs) I was like, great. So we went home Wednesday and Thursday, last two school days of school. And so he was home watching TV a lot because mama has to work. Yeah, and yeah. then Friday he was off, but he was still home because he was sick. And then, yeah, it was just sort of a mess. So, so then yeah, Memorial and then you were, yeah, yeah, and then you were already late for the first day of summer. Yeah, yeah, I and mean, that's how it <laughs> happens. So, <laughs> we have <clears throat> brain balance centers it has a little four, like four or five, five tips on how to transition from school to summer. Yeah. And so we're going to let you know those. Some of these, these are great, great suggestions. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and hopefully. But in practice, it's always not, always not, you know, not always reasonable. (laughs) I know. Exactly. It's always easier said than done. Yeah. So, you know, but it helps to have some ideas on on what to do when you're pulling your hair out. Yeah. Because not everything works for everybody, right? Not, that's just how, that's the reality of it. But some of these may help you be able to have a smoother transition. Wish I would have read this this morning. Did uh, not. Or, you uh, know, like actually a couple of weeks earlier. Ago. Yeah. <laughs> First one, keep a routine. And they say, try to keep most of the routine the same. That means like having the same breakfast, you know, having breakfast at the same time, having lunch at the same time, uh, bedtime is the same time. So like, you can't like treat... Oh, we're just going to let you go to bed a little bit later tonight because you don't have school. It's just summer camp. No, no. Yeah. No. And we're really good at keeping Baker to a between seven and eight o'clock time. I would say in the last year, probably like 10 times he's gone over that eight o'clock time. But we're really good about like, nope, you've got to be in bed between seven and eight. That's it. Too bad. So sad. Yeah. No, so it, we'll it is good. I mean, it's even good for. For us grownups to have, oh, yeah. uh, you know, especially with sleep, having a routine like that. Although it is, mm-hmm. I mean, it is tempting to be like, well, it's summer. Mm-hmm. You can stay up. Yep. Why not? So yeah. I, I get that. The next one that was on here, which this would have been good. Heather, you should have read this a few weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Um, it says that if you, it says create learning opportunities for the summer days mm-hmm. for people whose kids aren't enrolled in summer camp or there's a transitional period where they're not in school and and then they're not quite yet in summer camp Mm -hmm. um so yeah so uh they say to to create uh activities that are well thought out and planned so Mm -hmm. it's kind of like they're still kind of like a like they are during school year they're still learning something of course it can be fun but instead of just kind of like lying around or whatever do something that's that's got a little bit of a uh intellectual punch (laughs) this one's the one that makes me cry Uh, what one? This one, the create learning. I'm like, <laughs> but I don't wanna. Oh, <laughs> because my my brain hurts. I'm so tired. I know it's very true. But, but I, I guess, will say, I mean, 
find out from your school district if if they're in public schools in our district they have every student is subscribed to like a certain certain services that uh, their academic like online things and we get a text message and email from our principal saying like hey don't forget like summer creep is real where kids literally forget what they were taught in school because they're not it's not being reinforced, reinforced. for months yeah and so she's like you you still have access to these things during you know during the summer so take advantage of it 20 minutes a day and so i'm like yep i'm gonna try to take that so uh, find out from your school district if there's anything like that 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 is something that your your kids or your students can um can utilize over the summer because i know baker loves those uh, programs like, computer programs oh, really yeah because yeah. they're on they're on a computer like he's like technology i've got to have technology ah <sighs> screen time Mom, i know I so screen time. ask about that that so we're gonna we're gonna try try because they said 20 minutes a day and we'll we'll shoot for 20 minutes every other day yeah let me know how that goes in about six weeks <sighs> i will i said shoot we're gonna shoot for it <laughs> he's gonna be on summer he's on summer break for the next two weeks so he's not doing anything i can promise you he's not doing anything for the next two weeks but when he comes back from his summer break we will try our best to do that all right. So the next one is talk over the schedule. If your child doesn't ha- handle trans- transitions well, or and maybe if there's something unexpected that they don't usually see, maybe it's a, you know, I don't know, a splash day or something, and you just never go to splash pads or something, then you want to set them up for that and just say, okay, so this is gonna be a little hectic. You don't run, you know, run water safety, blah blah blah. Maybe take them to a splash pad so they can experience what what it's like, so that. They're not, it's not the first time going, what the heck? With a bunch of other kids going wild. Well, yeah. Well, and also too, like, all right, so tomorrow we're going to the splash pad. So we're going to get up at eight o'clock, mm-hmm. have some breakfast, get dressed. Maybe watch a little TV for half an hour. And then mm-hmm. after that, we're going to go to the splash pad. Like, mm-hmm. And then some of them, this is what we're going to do. They're a visual learner. So they're not going to, like Baker's a very visual person. If he sees it, it, it exists. But uh-huh. if it doesn't, it's gone. <laughs> so set up a schedule that like maybe color coded, what times activities, what time learning, what time, you know, is is rest. Because also in your schedules, if you're not sending your kid to summer camp, build in some downtime. Oh, yeah, definitely. That's like, like I said, you know, that's why it's good to be like, okay, we're going to get up at eight, we're going to mm-hmm. have breakfast, watch 20 minutes of TV or whatever, you know, watch it, your favorite show that just kind of, to kind of chill and ease into yeah. the day. That's, yeah. that's, that's, well, like, that's the way I am myself. I don't, I don't like to just like jump up and go. I need a little bit of time to kind of ease into the, yeah, maybe not TV so much. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, whatever, the whatever they're doing to, to be, you know, quiet for a little bit before you get yeah. started. Oh, I'm like, go, go in your room and play with Legos. Off you go. Only because yeah. for my son and not for everybody's TV, maybe it's something that is okay. But for Baker, if he gets a just an inch, he will lose it. Oh yeah. You've said that if he, if you let him watch any TV that it's, yeah, it's almost impossible to pry him off of it. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So yep. yeah. So TV for Baker probably wouldn't be very relaxing. No. No, it wouldn't. It would be just a fight. <laughs> yeah. And there's oh, yeah. there's some days that he does really well with the transition, but other days you're just like, oh my God. And so we can't pick, we don't know what day we're going to get. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I can understand that for sure. Mm-hmm. So, and speaking of, then the, the, the next one was stick to a behavioral system. Mm-hmm. So it says if your child has behavioral challenges, um, there's a good chance he follows a behavioral system at school. Like, mm-hmm being rewarded for good behavior and discouraging bad behavior. Um, So if you learn the system that your child uses at school and then implement that same system at home. So maybe, you know, talk to, of course, if you're you're already into summer break, maybe you can't reach the teacher at this point, but you could probably figure out from the kid even like, so when you do something good at school, what do they do? You know? Yeah. Like, so, so kind of continuing through with that and even stuff that you normally would do at home. I think basically the thing is, is it's so easy to get in your head like, oh, it's summer. We're just going to let everything go. Oh, my God. Yes. Because that's and what you want. Next thing, you know, <laughs> all hell like, breaks loose and it's yeah. And, and your kid's a, a mess and you're a mess. So 
I think that's kind of the gist. Kids are hard. I know. Damn it. Kids are hard. They're so tough. (laughs) Yes. And the last. They're cute. Yeah. The last one. Go ahead. Give your child and yourself some time. Mm -hmm. So it's just a transition because it looks different because they're going. Chances are very likely they're going someplace different. So it's not in the same building. School, you know, summer camp's not in the same building. Maybe it Uh is, maybe it's not, but still you have different teachers. You have different friends that they're going to be there. It's Uh just a different experience. So give your, give your kid and yourself some time because you have to learn, you also have to learn the processes and like, who are the people and all the other things, you know? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, don't basically don't be hard on yourself. And if these don't work and you wind up feeling like your kid, like, like me. (laughs) This morning, <laughs> just apologize and say, I'm Expensive. sorry. <sighs> Mommy shouldn't have lost her temper. Mommy, Mommy shouldn't have lost her shoes. <laughs> yeah. And then Baker was like, I'm sorry. I yelled too. I was like, okay. All right. Well, that's good. Yeah. yeah. But Aww. still, I felt like trash, obviously. But, you know, it is what it is. There's exactly, we have great days and we have bad days. Oh, yeah. I mean, again, as my mother would say, you don't come into this world an empty vessel. I so, know, man. As little as they are, they still have their own little personalities and their own little thoughts and opinions. And uh, it can it can be difficult and challenging at times. Yes. But give yourself <laughs> grace because you, it's it have, everybody gets yelled at. Well, I don't know. Some some moms, I'm like, do you just lose it at home? Because you are so just chill. Caring. Yeah, yeah. I'm like soft spoken. I'm just oh, like I you, know. you. There has to be a crazy side of you. Oh, I. Well, I had a girlfriend. <clears throat> well, I'll still have her. Um, that I would That's go over to her house when Luke was little, <laughs> and um, and you know, Luke and I would I would get mad at him for one reason or another, and I'd just be ready to just lose it, and yeah. she'd be like, okay, 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 okay. You just go over there, and she'd like kind of put me in timeout, and then she would like you know get on her kneel down so she was face to face with luke and talk to him calmly Uh and get you know and and you know say to him well luke you know but you need to understand that blah 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 blah." and he would listen to her and everything Uh would be fine and Mm -hmm. and i'm like meanwhile i'm over there in the corner like ready to tear my hair out and (laughs) so but i think i mean again she uh just she was really good at staying calm in, in situations oh, where nice. I start to lose my patooties. Yeah. Because <laughs> kids are frustrating and they just, and it's it, somewhere, I think we've talked about this before. It's because we're their safe space. So they mm-hmm. push back and test boundaries and mm-hmm. will lash out at you. Just like I feel like the same with us, right? They're our safe space. So we <laughs> can yell at them. Like I wouldn't yell at a coworker like this. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just for sort that was like a funny visual. <laughs> I mean, maybe I would, but we were yeah. probably not. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying is like, it's di- it's different. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You're, you're, not that I'm saying like I, I have given myself permission to yell at my child. It's not that's yeah. not accurate. Um, yeah. Sometimes I lose my temper, and it is very frustrating. Yes, and it's yeah. frustrating for me because I lose it. Anyways. Yeah, I could go well, on and talk about bad. how terrible of a mother I am for hours. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We all have our good days in your bed. I'm not in that forty percent that thinks I'm the best, right? Is it forty? Yeah, it was 40? yeah, yeah. I'm not that. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm there in was 60. A, yeah, there was yeah. I'm at sixty. <laughs> well, all right. Um, anyway, if you so, have any other yeah. tips on how to transition from school to summer, please do so. If you have any cool educational games or anything else that you yeah. love to Some play with your kids over the summer or any, like anything that will help parents that are going through this transition, please reach out to us at I can't mom today podcast at gmail.com. Yes. Pat, and we'd love to share on, it on our Facebook group is a good place mm-hmm. too. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah. So and you can share it. Of course, on Instagram and all that fun stuff. And people were like, Oh my God, thank you so much. It's awesome. So good I know. Boost ego. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. Until next time. Bye. Bye.